Scientists were ecstatic when the results were announced. Phase three clinical trials show their vaccine, Abdallah, is among the world's most effective. And on the streets of Havana, people say they're proud of their country's achievement. Vaccines normally take 10 years to develop, so making one in a year and a half is a record. Cuba is a medical powerhouse, and coming up with this vaccine is really special. And the fact that it's free is even better. I'm very proud because it's one of Cuban scientists' biggest achievements. It's taken a huge effort. Only 10 countries in the world have their own vaccine. And at this rate, Cuba will become the first country in the developing world to vaccinate its entire population with its own vaccine. The project's leader admits the results surprised him. I didn't expect the result to be as high as 92 percent efficacy. We're extraordinarily happy. Our vaccine is now the fourth most effective in the world. The result is a rare piece of good news for an island that's seen its economy plummet during the pandemic and a relief for the Communist Party, which says US sanctions have slowed down the vaccine's development. They've done everything possible so not a drop of fuel gets here. They've done everything possible so that medicines don't get here. But in 13 months, you've come up with results. Cuba has refused to import foreign coronavirus vaccines, betting instead on five homegrown versions. The government is close to broke, but has poured every last cent into vaccine development and production. Cuba has taken a gamble that seems to have paid off. Case numbers here in the capital, Havana, have halved since the Ministry of Health began an emergency mass vaccination campaign with Abdallah last month. The high efficacy could also be a boon to exports. The government hopes that sales to Latin American, African and Asian countries will help lift the country out of its deepest economic crisis for 30 years. Ed Augustin, Al Jazeera, Havana.